What happens after you die? Here are the 10 answers from different mythologies from around the world. So hello, and let's get started. Greek Ancient Greeks had the view that after passing away, individuals went to the underworld, a gloomy region controlled by the ruler of the dead, Hades. Others had a belief that it was the Olympic Pantheon, a paradise-like setting on Mount Olympus where gods like Zeus dwelt and made decisions on the fate of humanity. People who lived good lives and were always on people's thoughts experienced the joys of Elysium, while those who were forgotten roamed aimlessly in the gloom of Hades and the wicked were sent into the depths of Tartarus. Although the gods determined each person's fate, anybody could influence their destiny by making offerings to the gods and using divination. Norse According to Norse mythology, people were made up of four separate components. The physical characteristic known as Hammer make up the first element. The second one is called Fligia and is a representation of a well-known ghost. Hug, the third component, represents a person's personality or character, while Haminia, the fourth component, describes the quality of a person's life. It is thought that those who lived evil or selfish lives may not leave this realm, but rather stay here, trapped in the body of Draugr, the undead warrior creature. A person's hug, that is character, is also said to transfer to another level of existence. Their humming yaw is still here and will continue to be shared with the rest of the family for years to come. It is also believed that people who pass away may reincarnate into their family line, strengthening the family tree. Egyptian There was a passage between death and the afterlife in Egypt, as there is in so many other ancient cultures. Your spirit would first take a boat ride to the Hall of Final Judgment. Osiris, the god of the dead and the underworld, would hear your argument for your admission into the afterlife there. Your decision would consist of two parts. The first step would be for you to stand before 42 celestial judges and use the Book of the Dead to prove your innocence of whatever wrongdoing you may have committed while you were alive. Your heart would then be compared to a feather in weight. You wouldn't be allowed to enter the hereafter if it was heavier than the feather but you would be allowed to if the scales were in balance. If your admission is approved, you would be granted a piece of land to look after. Christianity The resurrection of Jesus Christ is the cornerstone of Christian doctrine on life after death. Christians think that God's plan for humanity includes the death and resurrection of Jesus. Christians hold that three days after his crucifixion, Jesus rose from the dead by God and made a second appearance to his followers. This is interpreted to signify that Jesus' death was a triumph over sin and death. Those who follow Christ and lead moral lives will get eternal life in heaven, even while bodily death still occurs. Many Christians think that after they die, they will be brought before God and condemned for the things they did or didn't fail to do while they were alive. Some guiding concepts concerning what will occur after death are Judgment Day hell for those who reject God, and the state of purgatory where some people who have sinned are purified in a cleansing fire, after which they are accepted into heaven. Aztecs As per the Aztec vision, where you ended up in the afterlife depended on how you died. They believe the thirteen heavens and the underworld were two of the afterlife regions. The ancient Aztecs preferred people who passed away tragically or in a heroic manner over those who did so naturally. If you passed away suddenly or as a result of an illness, you went to one of the paradises. The underworld, however, was where you went if you merely passed away from old age. Heroes who lost their lives in battle went to one of the paradises or fought with the war god. They believed that a warrior's passing honored the sun deity and aided them in locating heaven by utilizing the sun's beams. They also revered mothers who passed away giving birth and went to heaven. Children that passed away went to a paradise garden. Hinduism The roughly 900 million Hindus hold a belief in the supreme god Brahman, who appears as a variety of different gods and goddesses. Yoga, worship of a god, meditation, journeys to sacred places, and other customary Hindu rituals are only a few examples. Hindus hold that reincarnation is the only kind of life after death. They do not believe in either heaven or hell. Hindus have the view that after death, 
a person is born into a new body that is primarily dictated by their past existence. They believe that while humans are enslaved to illusion and ignorance, they are capable of escaping these states when they take a new body and discover their actual essence. Islam According to Islamic doctrine, there is an afterlife known as Akhara. The majority of Muslims hold the view that after passing away, they will remain in their graves until Yam al-Din, the Day of Judgment. They shall be summoned before Allah on that day, revived from the dead, and judged according to how they spent their worldly lives. Those who have done more good actions than evil will be admitted to Jannah, also known as Paradise. Described by Quran as a garden of eternal happiness and a haven of serenity where no illness or suffering exists, people who have done more evil things than good will go to Jehannam, also known as Hell. Physical and spiritual anguish are present here. Buddhism Samsara is the name for the cycle of death and rebirth that all life is a part of. Escape from this loop is necessary. When a person passes away, their energy transforms into another form. Buddhists believe in karma, often known as deliberate action, and they aspire to achieve enlightenment or a better future by good deeds, such as moral behavior, and by improving their focus and knowledge. The righteous deeds are outlined in the Eightfold Path, which also covers the right speech, right livelihood, and right concentration. So while negative activities will have the reverse consequence, good deeds will lead to a greater rebirth. Buddhists think that enlightened individuals would not experience rebirth after achieving nirvana. Chinese The yin and yang is a well-known idea that the devoted followers of the Chinese traditional religion, along with their legendary deities and gods, strongly believe in. The combination of the two substantially affects the fate of all things. The yin is negative, dark, and feminine, whereas the yang is positive, brilliant, and masculine. According to the Chinese traditional religion, there is a peaceful afterlife that one can achieve by following certain rites and exhibiting great reverence for their ancestors. When a person passes away, the deity Cheng Huang decides whether their soul is good enough to travel to a Buddhist paradise where they can live with the immortals or whether they should go to hell and then immediately reincarnate. Japanese In the very beginning, there was Izanami, a supernatural deity who, along with her brother-husband, Izanagi, was responsible for the creation of Japan's islands. The offspring born of these siblings were the islands surrounding China. However, when Izanami was giving birth to a further child, Kagutsuchi, she passed away. Before going to the underworld, Yomi, to see if he could bring Izanami back, Izanagi buried her and killed Kagutsuchi, resulting in the creation of a number of other gods. Izanami, however, had consumed food while within Yomi and was unable to exit, much like Persephone from Greek mythology. He would have to wait. He wasn't permitted to see her while she tried to convince the god to let her return to the surface. She promised to make her case to them, but he used a torch to view her anyhow, and when he realized that she was no longer lovely, but rather a decaying corpse covered in maggots, he decided he was okay with her staying put and made an attempt to depart. He escaped as she tried to catch up with him and blocked the entrance to Yomi with a boulder. Since then, she has come to be revered as the goddess of death and is regarded by some as the first Shinigami. And that sums up the video. If you enjoyed watching it, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time with another amazing one. Until then, stay mythically mad.